Hey, this is the lawn crawler again. Sorry, no test video yet, but I know some have wanted to see a little more in depth of the drivetrain. And this is the centrifugal clutch that is a typical go kart style for a five horse, three quarter shaft. And it drives a number 35 chain down underneath the frame to a drive shaft and the drive shaft has a sprocket under here and a pillow block bearing and then has a three quarter drive shaft that runs about right underneath the steering wheel to another pillow block bearing and then this is where the first joint is at and as you can see it's a it is a uh, half inch impact wobble with just a little bit of grease on it. The pin that goes through that joint itself was originally held in by a spring clip but I welded the pin so it couldn't fall out. And then it's a piece of square tube and another piece of square tube that slips inside of it and that's the slip yoke just like on a car truck drive shaft. And then that goes back to the second joint right at the rear end and as you can see the rear ends tipped up and is actually rotating in reverse of the normal lawnmower operation but it works great and while we're under here you get a good look at the suspension this is the one link or the greater ball center section this is a cross member that's welded on either side gusseted and then there's a uh, set of heim joints one for the front axle and one for the rear axle and then the front axle the arms are just welded solid and the whole arm and everything pivots with the axle same thing with the rear the whole arm and everything pivots with the rear end and what keeps the axles located is this track bar. This track bar is just like what would be on the front of any solid axle, coil sprung, Jeep, Dodge. There was a lot of those made that have this same style suspension. Only instead of a one link they had a four link. The steering is right here goes to the four-wheeler steering knuckle it's kind of dark to see but this is the other steering knuckle tie rods behind the axle and the rear end this is still the FNR I kinda of got this link made up here for now it's gonna get a different one when I get the peerless mounted in here the hubs are just the lawnmower wheel welded to a piece of pipe to a plate that's used for the hub to use the ATV wheels. Suspension is pretty much the same in the rear except it has I believe their Honda dirt bike coil over shocks in the rear and as I said in another video the front are the hundred pound hood struts not sure what maker model they're from. I just went to auto parts store and found which ones would work best for me. And then just drilled out the plastic ends, stuck a bolt through it. The steering's a little bit slow. I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna put a set of chain and sprockets here to speed it up so you don't have to turn the steering wheel so many times. But just kind of trial and error right now and that's it I'll uh, post a video as soon as I can when I actually get it out on the trail and do some good test runs that's it